These games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of the top 7 PSVR games of 2017 so far is Fated The Silent Oath. Is the PSVR dead? It's hard to get into any VR discussion without bringing that up, with forums full of heated debates about the state of the virtual genre. But, but the general consensus still seems to lean towards a more hopeful perspective, with virtual reality as the future we are still working towards. And it's hard to deny that, especially with this first entry. Not entirely considered a game, Fate that is best described as an experience. It's an exercise in visual storytelling that makes great use of this innovative technology to take us into a deeper kind of immersion. Step into a vibrant Viking village in the middle of Ragnarok, and play as a dedicated father who attempts to save his family from the decaying world. But unlike most games, there's not a lot of choices to be made, and not a lot of action to take command of. At best, it's a walking simulator that takes you into an exciting adventure in the shoes of a Viking. With lush visuals, great voice acting, and compelling story, Faded offers an enjoyable experience, albeit a short-lived one. Critiqued for its lack of interactive elements and length, Faded's debut only lasts about an hour and a half at most. It's basically a movie that puts you in the perspective of the protagonist, and for a relatively new venture, it's not all bad. It has a play score of 7.65. Sixth place is Star Blood Arena. Compared to our more cinematic first entry, we finally move on to the more exciting and fast-paced side of the virtual reality sphere. A game that threatens to put a dent to Blizzard's Overwatch success, Starblood Arena is a frenzied concoction of the best elements of a great first-person shooter. Pour in some tight controls, add a dash of visual flair, sprinkle in a comical personality and you've got yourself a winner. While it might work without the virtual reality side, it definitely seems to add to the excitement giving you the breathtaking freedom of steering an actual ship into the colorful chaos. It's pretty much like a modernized version of 1995's Descent. Dive into this bloody, high-flying royal rumble, and take your place among a team of ships competing for victory. Master each of the characters' special abilities and take advantage of their varying similarities. Play with Alice's bombs, Dreadnought's tricky lasers, Tic-Tac-Toe's tanky trio, and so much more. Jump into the arena, tinker with as much 9 different ships and characters, and revel into the competitive atmosphere along with their enthusiastic announcer. Starblood's arena offers a variety of game modes to enjoy. Team up with strangers online to compete in a bloody fight to the death, or to enjoy a jolly ball game a la Space Rocket League. It has a play score of 7.67. Fifth place is Psychonauts in the Rumbus of Ruin. Following their successful PlayStation 2 debut in 2006, Double Fine Productions is taking their iconic puzzle platformer to a new psychic adventure in the realm of virtual reality. Acting as a refreshing pit stop between their upcoming Psychonauts 2, Rumbus of Ruin lets us come along with another adventure with a telekinetic Raz. But instead of their usual platforming hijinks, we'll be eased into the mind-bending world of first-person point-and-click. While that may sound boring, it actually works surprisingly well on the VR. Although your favorite kitty companions have grown well enough to equal their previous masters at the Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, you'll be glad to know they're still as wacky and adorable as ever. Bridging the stories of the two Psychonaut titles, Rumbus of Ruin gives us a unique collection of puzzles to solve while giving us a bit of sneak peek into the events of their upcoming title. Led by Tim Schafer from the Day of the Tentacle and Double Fine CAO, it's much more mentally forgiving than his previous endeavors. But it still retains the wit and charm of the series, especially with the welcome return of their original voice actors. Short as it may be, its gorgeous graphics and clever dialogue is well worth the cost for puzzle enthusiasts and Psychonauts fans. It has a play score of 7.92. Fourth place is Farpoint. Since the PSVR launch, Farpoint was among its first set of games to showcase the power of their virtual reality machine. Fortunately for them, Sony did the right thing. It was very well received. It's a good shooter that really matches the expectations of players, despite its minor technical woes. To begin, Farpoint is a VR game that takes you to a hostile alien planet. Crash landing on this barren hellhole isn't the only thing you should be worried about. Find your friends and test your mettle against the planet's extraterrestrial wildlife. The game's biggest feature lies in the PSVR's new aim controller. To take down the nasty dangers on this planet, 
you must take up arms and use your various weapons to shut them down. Choose from your sniper, SMG, shotgun, and a launcher to dismember these creatures and find your missing crewmates. The aim feels realistic and responsive, although it kinda gets wonky at times. In its 5 hours of story, you're expected to embark on an adventure that doesn't necessarily feel nauseating. It doesn't overstay its welcome as well, and you're left with a good VR shooter that greenlights the future of VR games in the days to come. It has a play score of 7.96. Third place is Star Trek Bridge Crew. For Star Trek fans, this feels like a dream come true. Voyage into the final frontier with your hearty crew of aliens, humans, and more. Ubisoft's virtual reality game takes you to the vastness of space. Set in an alternate reality between 2009 Star Trek, lead the USS Aegis in a quest to find a new homeworld for the Vulcans after their planet's destruction. But space isn't all easy. You must embark to an uncharted location in space and run away from the threat of Klingons. But don't worry, with your VR gear at the ready, lead your crew and guide them by any means necessary via co-op mode. Your friends will accompany you to every obstacle blocking your path. Communicate with them to find out who's manning who. Do you want them to take down an enemy fleet or repair the ship? As captain, your orders are absolute. But players can always go on a single player experience. But instead of sitting under the captain's chair all the time, you can move from one place to another. It seems like a chore but once you get the hang of it, it gets more immersive. Its only weak feature though is its lack of exploration. It's about time we get a decent Star Trek game. And with PS4's capabilities, we're glad Ubisoft and Red Storm Entertainment decided to take us to the most atmospheric Star Trek game to date. It has a play score of 7.98. Second place is Polybius. During the year 1981, this mysterious game was once considered an urban legend. Many said that this game, upon played, makes players go into a state of uneasiness and worse, death. Although it was debunked for being too silly, the game still managed to rise up from its infamous story. With the birth of new technology and the internet, Polybius is finally reaching the public eye after 30 years as a ground-up remake. But before any of that, we warn anyone with a history of epilepsy to seriously avoid this game. A shoot em up or shmup for short, this game feels like an acid trip. Every angle feels like a psychedelic adventure of exploding colors and tantalizing polygonal shapes. Think of it as a mix of Space Impact, Tempest, and some of the iconic shooters from the days of old. The goal of the game is simple. Make it through its gauntlet of obstacles using your tiny spaceship and gain the highest score. Take a trip back to the 80s and feel like a kid again with its amazing electronic soundtrack. It's like Stranger Things all over again. With over 50 levels, enjoy riveting courses pumped with flashing neon lights and bossless adventures that aims to keep you satisfied. Not to mention it runs at a smooth 120 FPS with or without the PSVR. The game may not be for everyone though, but once it grows on you, you're in for a wild ride. It has a play score of 8.54. And the best PlayStation VR game so far is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. If there's one thing Capcom succeeded other than revitalizing the franchise's signature survival horror atmosphere, it's its virtual reality capabilities. Resident Evil 7 marks the series' breakthrough in terms of gameplay, story, and continuity. With the introduction of their new first-person perspective, horror comes directly at their face. Like literally. With your PSVR gear, step inside a creepy mansion in Dolby, Louisiana to find your missing wife. The story gets more sinister as you encounter vile creatures that lurk in the corner. Aside from the adorable Baker family, you're met with experimental threats called the Molded. With PSVR support, we're betting your first encounter caught you by surprise. Additionally, just like any Resident Evil game, puzzles are back and they're more clever than ever. To explore the entirety of the mansion, players must traverse creepy underground basements, haunting hallways, and swamps to find missing keys. But be careful, the Baker family will do anything to stop you from finding your wife. For added replay value and upcoming story DLC set to release sometime this year, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard excels at giving players a quality scare with the use of their virtual reality gear. It was universally praised due to its atmospheric dread, tension, and the return of survival horror elements. Bring your extra undergarments and more tissues because you might need some. It has a play score of 